Hey there, it's Kim Cobb at CES 2017 in fabulous Las Vegas. I'm here at the Harman International booth and we're looking at the IBM Voice Activated Natural Language Processing Integration Solutions uh, with IBM Watson IoT in Harman and we're going to give you a quick demo of some of the presentations. Thank you. So we have three different setups here, a conference room, hospital room, and a hotel room. And each one of these has a similar problem in the sense that they're unfamiliar environments that somebody walks into and they don't know necessarily how to control certain aspects of it. How do I turn on the lights? How do I change a TV channel? How do I set the thermostat? So in partnering with IBM Watson, we've been able to use their voice recognition and their cognitive computing combined with our audio, video, lighting control systems to make it a much more natural experience. So for example, I can walk into a hotel room, sit down, and simply say, hey, JBL, turn on the lights. OK. Hey, JBL, open the blinds. OK. Hey, JBL, make it warmer. Go okay. So in addition to controlling different devices in the room, changing the TV, turning on the lights, you can also get information from the system. So in a hospital environment, for example, you might want to know when are the visiting hours, or when's the cafeteria open, or who's my doctor. In a hotel, I might want to ask something like, Hey, JBL, where can I play golf? The Point Oasis course is reserved for the private use of our guests. It is located to the south of the resort. So now going from the hotel to the corporate world, we've all been in this situation way too many times where you walk into a conference room and you don't know how to set up a video conference, how to connect your laptop, how to share files and data. So with Harman audio equipment combined with IBM Watson, it's as simple as saying, hey, JBL, Start my video conference. Hey, JBL, show my sales data. So that's what we're showing here. Harman Audio Video Lighting Solutions combined with IBM Watson to develop these voice-enabled cognitive rooms here at CES. So there we go. Thank you, Eric.